a couple times a day. <laughs> it's pretty daily, you know. It's, uh, I mean, he's my dad first, you know. You know, we'll talk about anything, golf, uh, the Immaculate Grid, my brother, our family, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we usually talk about the game the night before too, or the one leading up to that night. Did you envision this? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really don't. I knew he was always a good player, and to be quite honest with you, probably not for a while. But then the first time I kind of realized the, the, the reality of it, I watched him. I got to see him play for about a week straight in the Arizona Fall League. And it kind of became a reality to me to me. Like, oh, okay, my kid's going to play in the big league someday. Is there any Phil Nevin in Tyler Nevin? Do you see yourself as a player in him at all? Um, I mean, there's similarities, sure. I think what I think I'm most proud of him is he's kind of carved his own way. And um, the one thing he does way better than I ever did was handle adversity. And I think it's something I've learned from him, believe it or not, over the last few years. Uh, when you hear from umpires, opposing coaches, managers, um, training people, or anybody you've come in contact with through the game, uh, what kind of guy he is, teammate he is, that those are the things you're most proud of as far as stuff inside the game. Tyler, I think I heard you say one time, you never felt pressure to live up to expectations, but more of a sense of responsibility. Is that right? Yeah, and a lot of that ties back into what he was just talking about. Just not necessarily, you know, he never ever got on me performance-wise as, as a kid growing up if I got out or, you know, stuff like that. Where he wasn't the crazy parent that sometimes you see. But um, just growing up and learning how to be, like, a better person around around your teammates and around your coaches and, you know, people of authority like that, that's that's something that I felt a responsibility for. Um, you know, he talked about his <laughs> mistakes grow, uh, growing in this game too. but He learned from them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And exactly though, but um, so like to see how far he's come, um, you know, transitioning from a player to a coach to a manager, uh, that's the responsibility I feel um, when I go about my days to, to kind of emulate that as, as well. Phil, you had 12 years in, in the bigs, parts of three seasons in, in Detroit. How full circle is it knowing that, you know, you played in Detroit, managed in the system, obviously, and then for Tyler to start in Baltimore, but then to end up in Detroit and now here you guys are. Well, I thought the whole full, full circle thing was me playing there and then coaching there, and then now your your kids playing there, so that probably is a, a whole nother circle. But uh, yeah, seeing him in that uniform for the first time was, you know, I think it was a photo in spring training or something. And there's just certain cities that uh, when when their team is relevant, that makes their our game better. And I've always said Detroit is one of those. Uh, it's a great fan base. I loved playing there, even though we had some bleak seasons while I was there. But then in going up and, and being, I was managing in Toledo, I came up on the Major League staff for uh, you know September a couple years, and then just knowing what that place is like in a winning atmosphere, it's, it's a really, really cool place. So uh, I'm happy that he's getting this opportunity there and wearing that old English D, it's a, it's, a special, uh, it's a special look. Before I turn you guys loose, who's the most competitive between the two? <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> I, I, I say that, well, as competitive as I am, I mean, and I know when he comes up to bat, the camera's on me all the time. And I, you see parents in the stands all the time. They put the cameras on their, you know, their folks. And I have the same feelings as those people do. Like, I just have to try to control my emotions. And I am trying to win a baseball game. And uh, it's a hard separation. It really is. And, I mean, I got coaches over there at times. And, but I don't, I mean, it's like I'm rooting for him. Um, because I have a pitcher on the mound that I consider, you know, these guys an extension of my family or re the relationships I create. So, and I want them to be successful too. But it's pretty hard not to root for your own kid when he's up there. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't envy him. He's got it way worse than I do. I just go out and play, and he's got to, you know, push all the buttons and stuff and worry about that. I think it's just that's just how we are. You know, they, we're competitive, um, but he's definitely got the short end of the stick in this situation. <laughs>